Hello guys and welcome to my brand new series Inglorious Basque Grids. Today we're going to go over what the plan is basically for this series. We will be managing Real Sociedad in La Liga and we are going to be doing it with none other than Lieutenant Aldo Rain from the famous Quentin Tarantino film. Okay guys as you can see Real Sociedad de Football SAD higher Reign. Real Sociedad have today confirmed the appointment of Aldo Reign as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the 56-year-old who has recently spent time away from club football and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Anoeta. Let's just have a look at what we've got here. So the Anoeta is a 39,500 capacity built in 1993. As the club we were founded in 1909 We've got superb training facilities, superb youth facilities, and good youth recruitment. Club's history, we have won two La Ligas, two Copa del Reyes, three second division titles, and one Spanish Super Cup. This is the recommended team, but we'll have a look at that more in depth in a moment. And let's have a look at what is required by the board. So first up is develop players using the club's youth system. Next is sign players based in Spain. And third is sign Basque players. Most of you are probably familiar with the requirements for Athletic Bilbao, our arch rivals. They only sign Basque players. Um, but I'm not sure if many people know that up until I think 1989-1990, when Sociedad signed John Aldridge, before that they had the same rules. So we're going to try and bring that back a little bit, whilst also trying to get the best youngsters from around the world, some of the best players within the league. Basically the whole premise of Inglorious Basquets is to be as difficult as possible, especially for the, those clubs within our region. So we're going to try and sign Bill Bowles youth players. We're going to try and disrupt the players that they have and try and get them to come to us. If we see that they're going to try and buy someone, we're going to go in there and try and gazump them. You know, players like Griezmann, if he becomes available, we're going to try and get him so Babao can't get those Basque players. We're going to make them wish they never had that rule. So we're going to be complete and utter Basque. Also, there's a few other teams within that region as well. So we're going to try and steal all of their young players, as well as trying to sign some of the best young players around the world. So let's have a look at what more the board want us to do. So they expect us to reach the La Copa final. They want us to qualify for the Europa League through the league. Super Cup's not important and the Europa League they expect us to finish in the, or reach the semi-final. So yeah, they, they're quite demanding really for the board. Following season they want us to be recognised as the best of the rest. So obviously our, our aims and goals are to try and get that La Liga title whilst hopefully slowly destroying the Basque teams. Okay guys, now we're in into the game. Let's check out the team and how it looks so far. If we just go to load tactic, I'm just going to load up my Midri Theory tactic to begin with. Not necessarily saying we're going to be playing that, but let's just have a look at some of the players we have got at our disposal. Let's pick the best 11 and we can see we've got quite a few decent players. Probably the most important player to us is Mikel Ayathabal. He is obviously a homegrown player. He is most likely the captain already, or if not, he could definitely be the captain with the 17 leadership. He's versatile. You can see here, play, plays anywhere along the front three, four, even back in midfield. And looking at his attributes, he could probably play anywhere on the pitch. I think the lowest attribute he has there is probably a 12, yes. He is our most important player. Obviously, in Spain, we've got to be aware of these buyout clauses because 69 million isn't a great deal. So probably one of our first priorities will be to tie him down for a longer deal. Looking back at the team as well, we've got obviously David Silva. Still, even though at 34 years old, is still amazing. Got youngsters like Isaac, who looks very good. Ilara Mende, who's currently injured, but again, a very, very good player. Approaching the end of his career, but, you know, he'll still be very useful. Nacho Monreal, probably another one of those older players, but again, decent. Our defence probably is the weakest part of the team, but Zubeldia, who's an He's pretty much a midfielder, I believe, but, you know, he can play there as well. We've also got players like Adnan Yanizai. See, he's wanted, so I'll probably try and cash in on him, to be honest. But, yeah, we've got some decent players. So, we've got 11 million to start with, which is a really, really good amount. Because, obviously, in-game, currently, every team 
is affected by the COVID issues within the world. So almost 12 million there is a decent amount to start with. Let's look at the schedule. What sort of games we got coming up? So we got Sevilla, Real Madrid, Barcelona, all within the first four games. Not long after we got Bilbao. So it's a bit of a tough start. But you know, there are some good teams in Spain. I'm sure we'll do ourselves proud as well but other than that let's just check out actually let's just check out the development center see if we've got any youngsters in there so in the under 19s what have we got we've got robert navarro c team john pacheco could he come in possibly 19 years old so we've got some decent players again let's just look at the club info at the facilities so we've got superb training facilities like we said superb youth facilities so we need to boost up this youth recruitment and junior coaching because we want to try and produce the best young players as well as stealing those best players from the clubs around us but other than that that's pretty much the team and the idea so just to recap our aims obviously is to follow what the board wants we want to try and win the league at some point but we want to also make life completely and utterly difficult for those other Basque teams so we're going to go and try and disrupt Bilbao I don't suppose we'll be able to sign players like Munaim or Williams um, cause I, th I think they're pretty much committed to the cause over there but maybe some youngsters I'm thinking maybe Nico Serrano we can try and disrupt try and see if we can steal him and then yeah check out all the other Basque teams as well and just basically we, we want to be the best team in the Basque region so we need those players we don't want our rivals getting some of the best young Basque players do we so in the next video I'll be back. I'll have gone through some pre-season. I'll have hopefully signed some players. And then we'll have a bit more of an idea of what we are playing with. But in the meantime, if you like this video, please make sure to leave a like. Also, please make sure to hit that sub button. And I'll be back very, very soon. So until then, take care and I'll see you soon.